Hey guys, good morning. Um, I'm just getting set up here about to paint part two, the second half of Starry Night. So let me know if you can see me, hear me, all of that good stuff. Just put a yes. And if you'll put um, where you're from, that would be awesome. I'll get started here in just a second. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Hold on. And good morning, by the way. Thank you all so, so much for being here. If you're watching the replay, um, you can put replay in the comments. If you're watching it live, just tell me hello so I know you're here and where you're from. Um, I know this is a little earlier than tomorrow, but I have my yoga class. I, I told you I'm really serious about this, <laughs> and I really want to be able to go to it. So I'm trying to make sure I um, get this um, painted before I before I start the next thing. Let me share this real quick. Oh, hey mom, good morning. Thanks for watching. Did you start yours, by the way, your painting? <clears throat> my mom had one of my, um, one of my kits, art kits from a while back. And um, I'm wondering if she ever started it. Okay, so I shared it. Let me see. Okay, so, oh, no, not yet. Well, you'll have to do it, especially now that you have this. So grab yourself a cup of coffee or tea or whatever, and if you um, are, you know, don't have paints available, you can totally um, just draw this with me. You don't have to do the painting part of it. You can just draw it. And sorry for my mess in the background. See all my coats? We try in my family to fit 30 coats at least on four coat racks. We just hover as many as possible. It's pretty, pretty awful. Pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the bottom part. Now, um, on this painting, of course, you know, you can do it as realistic as you want, or, oh, good morning, Carol, thanks for being here. And um, you can do it as realistic as you want, or you can do, um, you know, kind of just here and there. I've actually done so many versions of this. Um, one time I made it into, um, made it into Lake Granberry. I made the whole little city. And I've also taught this a lot with kids where you can turn this whole thing, like if they want to make it into an amusement park or whatever the case may be. Um, my stepdad one time, he made um, a whole like McDonald's and different stuff like that. He's kind of crazy. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and start kind of painting mine. So I have this little background here from yesterday. I'm just going to leave it and kind of just get some stuff in here. So before I start that, I'm just kind of pulling this close so y'all can see it. Um, I have a bunch of different colors, some greens, yellows, all different colors, but I'll tell you what I'm using before I do it. So I'm just going to use the big brush, and I'm just going to kind of use this dark green. It's actually a metallic green, and there is really no wrong or right way to do this because, again, you can layer and put stuff on top of this. So, um, which we're going to do. So right now, I'm just trying to get some base on there. And if y'all have questions as I'm painting, please ask, ask questions, or if um, there's something else y'all are wanting me to do a tutorial on, um, you can put a suggestion. That would be fine too. I know yesterday I just talked a lot. Sorry, I'm a talker, so. If I can't listen to music, it's like all the thoughts in my head. I gotta get out. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding it. Again, I'm not even really covering it all. Just kind of adding it in here. And that looks nothing like that, okay? But I just need a base. I just need some base color. I'm covering up my blue that I use for my lines. Just trying to get a base color in here. Go all the way to my side of that, if y'all can see that. And I don't know where y'all are from, um, but if you wanna put, if it's snowing where you're at, cause we've been kind of babies here in Texas, cause it's been like 11 and we have been complaining but it's not too bad. The sun's shining, so that's good. Okay, so I just kind of have a base. Now, while this is drying, I'm gonna start adding to, man, I get really close, I apologize. 
I'm going to start adding to this part. So, um, and then also, if any of y'all do this painting, um, if you've done it before or if you've done this with me while I was teaching it, if you don't mind adding it into the comments or even the progress of where you're at, I'd love, love to see it. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some of those blue colors that were here on top of this. So I'm just rinsing my big brush, having a drink of coffee. And then using my same flat big brush, it's like a one inch flat. And then I'm just gonna go to my blues. So I put out a little bit of the blues and whites and just kind of almost dash it this way. Like it's going down, like as a, um, oh, I'm about to sneeze. Hold on, hold on, give me just a second. Maybe, maybe. It might be happening soon. Hold on. <laughs> I, think it might, I might sneeze on y'all in a minute, so I apologize. But I'm just doing a little bit of dashing here. And then I'm going to take more dashes, just kind of going this way with different colors. So I'm going to go to my round brush. Hey, Carolyn, thanks for being here. And then I'm going to use some of the metallic blue. And again, Starry Night, you can be as creative and crazy as you want, okay? It does not have to be the exact colors of Van Gogh's, all right? So you can be crazy and creative. Um, so I'm just kind of going over some of this yellow. I still want the yellow to show through, but I'm showing some dashing through it. So I'm just kind of dashing through. He has a lot of different blues, and again, we could dash here for many, 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 many years if we wanted. <laughs> we could dash and work on this painting forever. So um, any of y'all out there feel like you're a perfectionist and you just feel like you probably might be watching but you won't even start it because you're nervous about maybe not being able to finish it perfectly. Don't lie, I know you're out there. And um, yeah, I used, it used to take me a year to do one painting. It would take forever. And then once I started getting disciplined, I must like, you know, doing anything, eating right, working out, you know, whatever the case may be, washing your car, which I'm not disciplined at that. But um, whatever the case may be, you start to get better at it. And then um, now, you know, you can pull out your paints every day and it's not a big deal. Um, creativity, oh, hey, Michelle, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're doing better. Um, so, so thankful. And you've actually painted this one with me. So you have some, some um, experience. Um, yeah, so once you're doing like art stuff every single day, it just starts to become really um, just a lot easier, you know, because it's like a, a flexit, you know, it's like a creative muscle, you know, that you're just doing. So I'm mixing a little bit of white with um, blue, and then I'm just going to start adding that on top. So the key is, is to get rid of a lot of that yellow, but to still keep the yellow, if that makes sense. All right, I'm just gonna kind of fill this in. I'm using that smaller brush. Kind of go over it. If I did this while this was wet, of course, a lot of it would turn green. Um, so I'm just kind of, that's why I let that part dry a little bit. And we could have done this all in one setting, um, but I don't know, sometimes with Starry Night, if you're doing a bigger one like this, you might want to break it up. Okay, so we have some blues on top of that. And then I might even, just for fun, kind of go into this light blue. So it's kind of like a turquoise-ish sea foam. Um, I'm just gonna kind of add some of that down in here. And I'm just doing diagonal lines and um, diagonal lines and horizontal lines. And again, if you wanted to do this hot pink or any color you wanted, um, you could totally do that. You don't have to do the exact colors that I'm doing. Okay. 
All right, so I kind of have that covered, and there's a good enough um, contrast between the two so I can see there. Um, that's the main thing is you want to make sure you're showing that contrast. All right, and I'm going to start adding in these little buildings here before I add in. So I'm going to start first with the church. The church is kind of the main, the main thing. I'm going to show you all this behind me. So the church here is kind of like whenever you're thinking about Starry Night, that's kind of like the big thing that you notice is, of course, the wind, the moon, and the church here with the cypress tree. Those are kind of the four main things you notice. So I'm going to start putting in the buildings. I'm going to show you how easy this can be if you just take a breath and don't freak out about it. Sorry, I have not had my coffee this morning. And so I was trying to get Pixie up for school and um, she went swimming yesterday. I know inside he did pool, but she went swimming and, um, and she was like, I told her, I was like, get up, get up. And I was making her breakfast. I thought she was all up and dressed just back there. She was still in bed 10 minutes before we had to leave. I was like, get up, we gotta go. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I just got a little bit of light brown. Again, this is just so I can see where I want my placement, okay? So I'm gonna do it like this so you can see it really up close. So I'm just gonna make the steeple first. So it's just up and down, just an upside down V really tall upside down V and then just a little line like this and then just a little line here and here and then I'm going to make some buildings beside it so Van Gogh kind of has a roof this way so it's just almost like a V right and then his house goes down and then he has a little door just kind of drawing this with my my flat brush all right, and so then the roof is here. Kind of goes like that. And then he has another roof over here that comes this way, over, this way, down. And then this turns into an upside down V. Horizontal line here. It's almost like you're um, drawing those little basic, um, those little basic shapes. You know, kind of like that. That has a little shade here. Here's a door. Happy little door right there. All right. And then I'm just going to bring in some roofs. So it's just a horizontal line. Upside down V. It's really just the basic shape. So one line, upside down V. And then bring it down all right and then you could put windows here a door here if you want I'm gonna make this a little darker if you're having trouble seeing it um, and then if I want to continue and put more houses I can just bring them on so one could be back here another one could be up here you can layer them maybe I want a house right here another V Okay, so I've just kind of like layered in some houses. I'm gonna put one right over here. So a V. Again, it's, it's not too hard. If you didn't see that, it's just a letter V, upside down V, a line, a line down, a line down, and then bring it over. So it's kind of just a basic, very, very basic shape. Okay, I'm gonna make a door. And then I can start adding more in here if I want. I think he has some roofs kind of going like this. And then he has some more roofs kind of falling in here. Kind of just layering on top of each other. I'm going to do a little bit of a darker brown so I can see where my lines are. There's a roof so you can see it. And we're going to put different colors on here, but just for right now. Kind of have that on there. Okay, so then these can be colored in and filled in how we want. But this next part, I just love to do so much. So I'm going to do it now because I can't wait and I want to put it on there. So fun. So the next step are all the little bushes and the trees. 
Um, all these little bushes and trees that you see in here, it's just like half little C's, really. It's not anything other than just these few little strokes. So I'll show you how to do that too. So I'm gonna to switch to a round brush and I'm gonna go with a darker green, which I'll probably use some dark green um, in addition to, and I used this green, sap green, artist loft, sap green. And I'm gonna use a darker green and then I'm also gonna use some browns. But basically it's just kinda of like a, a half letter C and it makes these rows. Now, this is where you could have a lot of fun. You could actually make, um, you could make trees, you could make, you know, whatever you wanted in here. But I'm just gonna start kind of doing some rows, and you can see why that light green underneath was necessary, because it just kind of fills it in more. So I'm just taking it, doing little rows, and it's almost like I'm just drawing a sideways letter C, really. It's all I'm doing, a sideways letter C. And the rows kind of come in here behind the church. We're gonna fill that in. And I'm just filling it in to get a bunch of texture on here. And I hope I can see y'all's comments. If um, you can hear me, put yes, or if you have um, any ideas of other stuff you want to see me paint. I'm gonna try to do this from time to time. but I definitely don't want to paint stuff that you're not interested in. <laughs> so if you have something that you're interested in or you have questions, um, you can ask in the thing. Okay, so I'm just kind of filling this in with all this green before I pick another color. Okay, so I'm just kind of filling in again, just blobs really, blobs, letter C kind of. Oh, thank you, good. Um, okay, so blobs and letter Cs, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker blue. Um, this one's Admiral Blue. You could also use Navy, it's the same. Um, and I'm gonna mix a little bit with my dark green. So I have not rinsed my brush. I went straight from the dark green to now the navy blue, and I did not rinse my brush, and now I'm just gonna kinda do the same thing on one side of them. So pick a side, it could be, and we probably should pick the opposite side because of the moon. So just kind of on the left, my left side, I'm just kind of going in under those bushes and just not much, but just almost like a, a dash or a dot. Um, how often do you go live? Okay, so I go live um, a few times a week. I'm starting to, sometimes I just talk, but I'm starting to do more of my paintings live. It honestly depends. I need to be more consistent, I know. Um, but it honestly depends on my schedule. So like next week I'll be in California at a, business conference all week. So mostly during the day, I might have a couple times to go live to share some information, but most of the day I'll be spent doing workshops um, and be busy doing those. So I won't be able to, you know, just go painting like that. But um, it would be kind of cool to bring my paints there and do something in San Francisco. Huh. Glad you said that, Caroline. I got me on see squirrel. I'm like squirrel. That would be awesome. Go paint by the bridge, the San Francisco, the Golden Gate. That would be really cool. Um, maybe I'll go live next week and paint by the Golden Gate. That'd be kind of neat. I might pack my paints. <laughs> I wonder if they'll kick me out. I wonder if there's a spot there. Hmm. All these things. All these things you got me thinking of now. I'm gonna have to take another carry on. Mm. I'll have to pack my paints. They won't let me take those on the plane. Okay, so um, I added like a shade of um, this bluish color just to kind of give it, like you can tell just the, the way it looks with just two colors. Think if you added three, four, five, six, seven. Um, there is, oh yeah, I know. I bet there's, um, there's a few spots I've seen um, at the Golden Gate that would be a good, good place. Oh, thanks Leslie for joining. 
Um, let me know if y'all have questions. Okay, so I'm gonna start um, filling in a little bit of these buildings. And so here's where you can have some fun too. I'm just gonna go from browns to blues to coppers and just kind of fill these in. So um, let's see, maybe I'll do, I don't wanna do too much brown there because of the, the tree. Although I am gonna do some black in here. I know it looks like I have black, but it's really a dark brown. So I'm gonna do some black here in a minute. But I'm just gonna kind of make this kind of messy. It's like a brownish blue. So we have the steeple here. Oh, I need some white. And this is something you can totally do. So if you're looking at this and you feel intimidated, don't. Again, um, I've taught this to thousands of people and some of them were five-year-olds. So you can totally um, do this if you take it step by step. So if you did not see my video yesterday, I did the whole first half of this step by step. And you could go on the piers. Oh yes, there, there's a bunch of places on the piers. Um, yeah, I could go on the piers and paint it. That would be a really fun live. And I've never painted that before either, so y'all could see me if I like totally screwed up. Again, it's about the process, the experience of painting and being an artist, not necessarily our end result. So if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm just painting this blue. And I made that steeple kind of thick. If you ever have like a major mistake, you don't love it, if it's still wet, you can take a baby wipe and wipe it right off. See how that just kind of came right off? Um, so that's kind of a trick. I try not to you know, tell my paint party people <laughs> um, right off the bat unless you know it just comes up because then I find that they're like, oh, baby wipe, I need a baby wipe. I gotta get this cleaned up. You know, they're all trying to do that. So what I'm doing is blues and then I'm just taking a little bit of white and just kind of muddying it up inside there. So it has a shade, a shadow. All right, so then I'm gonna take a little, I'm just wiping this off. I'm not rinsing, I'm just wiping it off. Um, a little bit of the yellow, and it's gonna turn it into this kind of greenish color. I'm trying to get rid of my brown lines as I do this, even though I'm still gonna re-outline them. I know, it's, it's kind of crazy. Just add some yellow in here. Um, he has a lot of blue roofs on this one. And you can see I'm not trying to make these perfect. I'm not trying to make them these exact. I'm just getting some color really. Getting some color in there and then I'm going to um, outline them. Let's see. Yeah, um, last time I was in San Francisco, um, my friends took me to this awesome place and we had like a perfect view of Alcatraz. And um, it was so cool, just eating lunch right on the end of the pier, looking at Alcatraz. I was like, oh my gosh. And then there was a huge barge that came through with tons of those, um, those crates, you know? It was like a huge ship with all those crates. I'd never seen one that close before. It reminded me of, um, <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but Madagascar. You know, like whenever they're going through the ocean with all those crates and it gets, um, I think they have the storm, if I remember correctly. Okay, so I'm just kind of adding color. I'm not worried too much about what it's looking like. Just kind of getting some color on there. I guess you can see I'm just kind of really taking what's on there and just roughing it up on top. Hope this helps y'all. Let me know if this helps you seeing it being done step by step and if this is something that kind of takes away the, the scary of it. And this might be something you want to teach at a paint party or just do yourself at home. Um, 
And if you go to Michael's, they have those really big canvases that you can um, that you can buy, and they have really good sales or use one of their 40% coupons. And then you can do a huge one like this. And oh my gosh, it's so, so much fun. Yeah, I love to paint big. Okay, I'm going to add some green in there. And I'm going to go now to this lighter green. This is called, um, hey Sherry, welcome. Um, this is, if you have any questions, please let me know. This is apple tart from Walmart. Nothing serious. Just a really, really light green. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of adding it in some of this to blend with the blue. I'm actually going to add some of that too to the tops of the um, bushes. So you can see how the, the moon's here. I have kind of the darker shade here of the bushes. Now I'm going to take that lighter and just go up here. Hey, Chastity, thanks for joining. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? So I'm just doing little bitty dashes. If you can see that, just little bitty like half C's on my right side and top of the bushes. So basically now we have three greens happening in these bushes. We had that first kind of moss green that I just went, just went under and did kind of nothing really. And then we had the darker, I'm gonna add some in here. We had the darker that I went in, the kind of a Christmas green, and now we're taking this kind of apple color, apple tart color, and just highlighting it. So then you have all these variations. It looks like rose almost when you put it back. I'm just kind of making it interesting. Okay, so there's a lot more that could be done there, but I'm gonna start adding some um, details with the black and the white so you can start to see how this will come together. And I'm also going to take a little bit of white with a little bit of yellow. I'm just gonna pull it to the side and mix it. And then I'm gonna use some of this light yellow to go around the stars to make it have more dashes. So I just took this light, and you can always switch your, um, your paintbrush size if you want it to go a little bit more. So see how I'm just kind of taking it and adding a little bit more white to it. So it's kind of a pure yellow and gold. And now I'm just kind of going on top of the blue and dashing in there a little bit. And this is with a very light yellow that I mixed up. Just to not make it so bold. Can y'all see that okay? I'm gonna do it in the star too. Oh, I did not mix enough up. Yeah, this painting is just, it's really cool because it starts to really come together the more details you put. Um, and the thing I love most about teaching this to people is they're um, so shocked that it really can look like Starry Night when they're done. From like a blank canvas. Sometimes I've had it where I've penciled in this part and the basic shape, but other times I've just done this um, straight. Mm. How long does this take? Okay, in class, if you do a 16 by 20, it takes a full three hours. Um, and that's you kind of making sure you're keeping them moving. So I recommend if you're teaching it as a paint party to do an 11 by 14. That way you have plenty of time. You have the two and a half hours to really focus on details. Because people really get into this one. And rightfully so, you know, it's one of my favorite paintings of all time, you know, and I just love painting it. Um, I'm taking flat brush with black, and I'm just adding highlights, <clears throat> or shading, I guess you could call it. Um, and again, don't be scared if you're using the wrong words, you know, there might be somebody that's like real artsy that's, you know, oh my gosh, why did Heidi say that, or... You know, but my thing is, is if you're having fun and you're painting and you're creating and you're not hurting anybody, <laughs> you're not being mean to people, then, you know, who cares if you say blob or 
something really serious about, you know, as you're teaching it. Most people I find that are in my paint parties or have never painted before and really appreciate me not trying to talk above them. Um, and I think too, just, you know, being a teacher for so long and yes, you know, teaching them vocabulary about art, but not making it so scary or so overwhelming where they feel like they can't, can't do it. Because here's how I feel. If somebody has a passion for it and you've gotten them like into something or you know you've taught them something and now they they're they're going to find the information I mean everybody has a computer you know at their fingertips and everybody in a matter of seconds can Google I mean I don't know when the last time anybody has actually had like a argument about who was this or who said something because you'll notice somebody in the family or somebody and the friends will grab their phone and quickly Google it and prove, prove they're right or prove that, you know, what the case is. And so, um, so what I find is that if you can inspire somebody to just create, you know, just to do something creative, to do something fun, um, and the rest will come along, you know, whatever they're deciding, you know, whether they decide to pursue it full time, whether they're just using it at home for, um, you know, a hobby, Whatever the case may be, maybe just so they're not watching TV all the time and they just want to, you know, experiment or maybe they want to make a baby gift for their grandkid and, you know, just some anything, whatever, it, you know, whatever it might be. I just find that, you know, if you open the gateway to where it's not overwhelming, then people are more likely to try it or to follow through. I'm just like going on top of this with my big brush. It's not, I'm not even making sure that the lines are perfect on there. I'm just kind of going on top of it and then just kind of adding in some lines to make it look like roofs, roofs, roofs. I don't know how to say that. Roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. That's a old song. Sorry about that. Just kind of adding in some shade there. And then I'm also going to do this with white too. So I'm going to go with a smaller brush, some pure white, and I'm just going to kind of add some details in here. So maybe I want like in here. Just adding in. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of maybe some yellow into here. Mm, I don't like that. I'm going to go back over with copper. Again, trusty baby wipe. It's an eraser. Yay! So I have the copper. I think I really like the copper. I'm going to leave that. I did some black in there. I'm going to add a little bit of black to the sky. Not a whole lot because I have that dark blue happening and metallic blues, and I really like that. So I'm just going to, here and there, not very often, add a little bit of black. And then I can add it pretty much anywhere or dark blues. So really, this about this time is really just kind of playing with it. Um, I also got out a little bit of purple and red. That's kind of fun just to add in because blues and yellows, all that really goes well together. This is an awesome red that I buy from Blick. Um, Blick has really, really great red. It's like a, it's called chrome red or fire. Oh, here it is. This is my favorite red of all time. It's called a bright red. <laughs> Tried to make it fancier than it is. It's called bright red, and I use this for all my Christmas paintings. Um, it does kind of have a, um, like a shimmer to it. Not a shimmer, but it has, 
it's thicker, you know, it's a lot thicker, so it has that kind of translucent, um, almost like where you have to do a couple coats if you use it. Um, I'm just going to use a little. I don't love that because it's making it pink. Um, but you can add some reds in there. You can also add this like darker purple color. This is like a um, plum. I'm going to cover some of this. And this is where you can get crazy. Like I said, if you're wanting to make your, I made this really purplish and you know pinks and purples and fluorescents actually. And then in this one, again, I think I was stuck on the purple. But see how I only did like three houses there, the church and two houses? You don't have to do um, all the houses. This one I did a few more. But you can make this whole little village like your own. So if you want to make it your town, if you want to make it a little creative like that, go for it. You know, there's no, there's no right or wrong whenever you're creating and doing Starry Night. There's been some really cool Starry Nights from people just kind of going off and making it, you know, similar but not perfect. So, hey guys. Oh, thank y'all for joining. Is Tanya, is she watching this time? Tell her I said hi, I hope. Okay, so I'm almost finished here. I'm just adding some little details and then I'm trying to step back to see and um, you can paint the edges a lot of times I'll just wrap the canvas and paint it whatever the color is I'll just wrap it and make it those colors and um, other times I'll just take a big brush I'm going to do this today and just do blue and I'm just going to wrap around it And then if you go to Michael's 16 by 20, or um, in our town, we have an Uptown Arts. It's a local um, framing shop. And Tom, the owner there, is so nice. He lets me do events there sometimes, and he's just really great. He has a bunch of um, glassless 16 by 20s. So if you are in the area, get a glassless 16 by 20 or whatever size and then you can frame it. So like the one behind me does not have a glass. It's just a frame. So yeah, this is just a really fun painting. So what I want you to do is if you like this, um, please comment, tell me yes, you want me to do these type of tutorials or you know, if you don't, just don't leave anything, that's fine. But um, I wanna make sure I'm doing stuff that y'all could really use or things that y'all could really, um, maybe you're doing stuff with your um, paint party business or whatever the case may be and um, let me know if these help you oh yeah and she can watch the replay too I have um, part one the first half yesterday so y'all can um, y'all can watch it on replay and then actually follow along with me because I do the step by step so um oh great yes oh thank you yeah hopefully this will help y'all anybody who's you know wanting to paint I know right now with it being so cold in January, I don't do a lot of events because it's just, um, it's just, you know, December is crazy town. So December is so crazy that usually January I try to take off a lot of time, but I still like to paint. And even though it's cold outside, you know, I'm sure y'all like to paint too. So, um, last few things, of course you can like, you know, spruce this up. You could add some darker in here. You could even add some black um, as I keep looking I keep seeing stuff I want to add and um, but I'm all about glitter so if you have never used glitter to paint with um, don't judge it I'm just adding a black line and then kind of making it messy um, here along where the, the spot goes but you could kind of like make this all real real crazy and more outlined if you want um, but if you have never used glitter to paint with, oh my gosh, you are missing out. I'm not just saying this, but um, it's just glitter glue. You can also use um, shake glitter, but my husband tries to get rid of all that, so I have to hide it in a secret spot. But this stuff, all it is is um, glitter glue. You just take it on anything that has been dried already. So you want to wait a few minutes. It's just green glitter glue. And then I can take it and just put it on top of all the bushes. I can put the blue in the sky. Um, I could take gold glitter and put it with the moon and the stars. But I've had people at my paintings, and 
I think I've done this myself a time or two, um, that will repaint their entire painting with the glitter glue. And it is really, really pretty. Like, it's like Mardi Gras. I mean, you it's just so crazy. And um, so, yeah, so you can just kind of glitter it up, add as much or as little as you want. And then y'all let me know. Please post. Um, I might have missed it, but did you draw the houses? But they draw the houses, or do you? Oh, I have them draw it. So if I'm teaching this in a paint party, I teach them how to do the houses. Um, but if I'm teaching a paint party and somebody's struggling and they're like, oh, Heidi, I can't do this, um, I will definitely go over there and just take my brush and quickly. Oh, hey, Tanya, you made it. Yay. Um, yeah, I need to come to y'all's place and do an event for y'all's um, Olympics thing. I was um, Last time I did one of these, we were talking about that on on the, the, the Facebook, um, the Facebook, you know, that, that Twitter thing, whatever. Um, hey, Christina, thanks for joining. Um, but yeah, so basically, like if somebody's struggling, I'll just quickly go over there and put um, a couple little buildings for them and show them how. And then I also, I also will do on the tablecloth, I'll take my paintbrush and usually it's easier. Again, I really love painting with this bigger paintbrush. And I never paint my paintings for a paint party with secret brushes I have for my art. I always use brushes I know I'm going to give my students. Um, because I want to be able to say, I did this with this brush and this brush. So I know I can teach you to do that. Um, but this brush right here, and I'll just kind of go over to their tablecloth and I'll quickly show them. And usually when they see it on the tablecloth painted, they can easily replicate. But if not, if they're nervous, I'll just draw it on there, a few of them for them and show them. So um, you could glitter this up, you could add, you know, dark lights, um, you could add more black to the bushes, you know, maybe in here I'll add a little bit of black. I mean, I could literally, if I want to, just keep working on this, you know. Starry Night's one of those paintings where you could just keep adding and keep adding, and um, it's just so fun. So, I mean, I could sit here forever, but I'm going to try that yoga class. And they have um, meditation today, which if you've done meditation, let me know. I've never done it. I just don't understand how they're going to get this brain to sit still for, um, for more than five seconds, honestly. So I'm really curious. I might do a blog post about that because I just don't see it happening. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have a little bit of hopes. I have no expectations. But if they can, like, quiet this brain for 30 minutes and... Um, have like a little mental vacation. I will be there every week. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how that goes. All right, so Starry Night, and then the last thing to do, um, of course, find a place to do your, let's see, I have, it was hard for me. <laughs> oh, great. So my mom hasn't been able to do it, so if it's in our genes, that means I won't be able to. Okay, so just kind of sign it, and I have some green right there, so you can't, I have some white, so I'm going to put that there. Okay, so yeah, you could fiddle with this and do all kinds of stuff. Um, but let me know if you like this. If you do, um, please share if you think other people might be interested. And then also post below what is something you want to see me do as a tutorial. Again, um, I want to do these if you're interested in them. If not, you know, I can paint with my music blaring all day. But if you like them and you want me to do more, make sure you post. And if you did not see part one, go back into my news feed. And also I'm posting this on YouTube. Go into part one, and then you can um, watch part one. So I did the first half yesterday, and then now the second half. All right, y'all let me know what you think. Oh, thanks for sharing, Chastity. All right, y'all have a great day, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys.